Hello and welcome to this edition of Eat Right with Rouses. I'm your host, Keith Weissite. Thank you so very much for joining us. We appreciate it. As we welcome in for the first time this very new year, our favorite dietitian, April Sins. Hello, April. Hello, Keith. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. This is going to be a great year. And I love the fact that we can talk about how to make the best out of the beginning of this new year. We most certainly can. And, you know, a lot of us are starting off the new year with what? Our cabbage, cabbage. our peas, peas. right? Y yes, ma'am. So, so many good options. And that's actually a great way to start off the year. I love that that is sort of the traditional food for the beginning of the year where we're starting it off with a vegetable. What? You know, and we're also starting it off with some beans, some great fiber, some uh, great nutrition there as well. And so it has protein in it. It's right. a great way to start off the new year. And so after you start off the new year with those great items from Rouse's, what else can you eat, right? What are some other options that we can do to be able to carry through the year? I know a lot of people kind of reset at the beginning of the year where they say, okay, I'm going to start getting some new habits and maybe start uh, – like having some better options at my meals. So that's what I'm going to show you. A couple of things where we're going to do is some powerful pairings where, you know, a lot of times it's the combinations of foods that we eat that really help us to feel a little bit fuller and more satisfied after we eat than just the individual food by itself. So I don't know if you ever noticed, like if you ate just a slice of bread, like with nothing, then it's not going to fill you up as much as if you put some, you know, peanut butter on top of that bread right. because you're adding some proteins and fat. Right. So those are the types of things that I want you to think about is combining the nutrients. Okay. So that way you're more satisfied. Therefore you're not feeling like, Oh, you have to keep snacking, keep snacking, keep snacking in order to feel full. So get that combination right from the beginning. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things. This is a really uh, super simple one. And th this one, I'll, I love this because, this is actually probably the case in a lot of your households is you have a little bit of leftover rice. Okay. Sure. So I have some leftover rice right here. Okay. Instead of just heating this up with some butter or just heating it up, you know, with gravy or something like that and having it like this, what else am I going to add to it? Of course you might have a protein on the side as well, but what else can you add to it? And I'm going to give you a couple of options. This is really fantastic is think about what kind of vegetable you can add to it. But one thing I'm going to start off with is I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, okay? A little bit of my Rouse's olive oil in here. And then the other thing, and you can make this in the microwave too. And the other thing I'm going to add is a handful of some spinach leaves. Okay. Super simple. Right. A lot of people, they buy spinach and then they're like, okay, now how do I use it? Because it, it, uh, once you open the bag, you got to use it, right? right. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to add a little bit of my Rouse's Parmesan cheese which you could find these great containers of mm -hmm. Parmesan cheese, or you could find it in the bag at Rouse's. You literally heat this up for a minute in the microwave. The spinach shrinks up, adds a great nutrition, and gives you some a really nice blend of nutrients inside of that rice, along with that olive oil, and then pair that with your protein so you have some vegetables with your meal. Wow. So that's a great simple. way to kind of just add in a vegetable, and it's super simple. I love this one. This okay. one's like... So, so fun. Okay. So, you know, those little mini peppers that you could find at Rouse's in the oh, bag. Yeah. All right. So you take those, you wash them, split them in half. Okay. So I just cut them in half. I grabbed a container and you know, I like to keep things super simple. You can definitely make some chicken salad at home, but if you want to keep it really easy, you can grab some Rouse's chicken salad in the yep. container and you could find this in the deli department. All you do is just take a little bit of this and put this, and this could be like a little appetizer too, if you want. And you stuff the little peppers with uh, the chicken wow. salad. And then you just, you know, so you're having a vegetable with your chicken salad, or this could be a cute appetizer for a party right. and just make it super simple. I love this idea because it's just like a two ingredient idea, right? Right. So very, very easy. You know, I like to keep that, keep it real easy in the kitchen. Right. Especially when it comes to getting those vegetables and fruits in. Well, and it's so much and better then, than just slapping it on bread, right? And it's so much more festive. It is. This very colorful, 
and it's just a great kind of unique way to eat it. Another thing too is that, you know, a lot of times I'll eat it with crackers, but this is kind of like a, another little alternative. Right. To, you can have, still have the crackers with it too. Right. Um, so I have a really easy canned item right here. So this okay. is some Rouse's peaches. They're already sliced for you, ready to go, right? So why not keep it super simple? Add this to some yogurt, okay? Mm. So this is going to add some sweetness, some color. You're going to be pairing a fruit with your yogurt. So what are we getting with this? We're going to get fruit. We're going to get protein from the yogurt. We're going to get dairy. We're going to get some calcium for our bones. We're going to get a great combination of flavors here. And you're going to be more satisfied because of that combination of those different nutrients. So it's it's really about looking at the meal as a whole or the snack as a whole. What fruits and vegetables can you add to it to add some fiber, some more um, nutrition to it? Um, what combinations can you make? to make you feel more satisfied after you eat it. Yeah, and so the first one, you know, instead of doing rice, do just a little olive oil, put some spinach on there, and then you mm -hmm. pair that with your protein, and now you've got a full meal that will fill you up. Instead of just yeah. putting the chicken salad on bread, you're putting chicken salad inside one of these beautiful peppers, and you've got like your own little popper, and then you've got the crunch of the vegetable that kind of pairs well with the protein and all the stuff that's going into uh, the chicken salad. And then instead of having just the yogurt by itself, you spice it up, if you will, with the peaches. And so just great recommendations. And so we've got some wonderful ideas for great pairings. It ought to be a good beginning to the new year. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Keith. All right. And that will do it for this particular segment of Eat Right with Rouse's. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming right here on HTV.